At 5.30, playing defense. Stores like Target and Dollar Tree are locking up more everyday items to stop shoplifters. But that could make the retail experience more aggravating for consumers. Good evening. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Paula Evan. And I'm Chris Tanaka. So the stores say they're just trying to protect their bottom line. Certainly we understand that. But as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, this choice could actually cost them more in the long run. It's become commonplace for shopping. Items that used to be free to grab, now all locked up for safety. It feels like I'm all the things I want to buy are in prison. You may often see this in a Target or a CVS, but more stores are following suit. The latest being Dollar Tree. After a poor fiscal quarter, the company says shrink is to blame. The term is industry lingo for stolen items or damages. Dramatically raises the cost of doing business. Lawrence Kotlikoff is an economist at Boston University. He blames the spike on desperate times, saying wages are not rising to meet inflation. I have yet to hear Jerome Powell go out publicly and say, look, we're concerned that uh, firms of companies are, have taken advantage of this inflation to raise their own prices, but not keep their wa the wages of their workers even. Instead, Dollar Tree plans to move some items behind the register or cease to carry certain items at all. It's more than just safety. There's an hindrance to the customer experience, which can also impact the store's bottom dollar. Takes longer. If you're in a hurry, you want to go in and out. I mean, it depends on like how quick I need it. Because then if, if it's locked up and there's no one there, I just leave and like go to the next place. So why are people being so bold? We asked Suffolk County District Attorney Kevin Hayden if he thought thieves are no longer afraid of the consequences. Anecdotally, I would say that I think people definitely feel that's true. I mean, that situation's not much different than what we're addressing here in Massive Cash. We can't just tolerate uh, any and all behavior that people want to engage in. Nonetheless, any and all shoppers will have to change their own behavior just to buy some deodorant. In Alston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Mm -hmm.